Hello and welcome to free VBA tips today. I am going to talk about the birthday automation uh, Previously it has some features uh, like sending anniversary emails Thank you for completing so many years with us and blah blah Those features are re-added to the automation and now the automation is made faster the logic behind uh, the automation previously uh, the logic behind the automation was uh, actually an old one now I have used some arrays and uh, some uh, strings which has made the automation run faster so let us uh, understand uh, how it is working for those who are watching the video for the very first time so let me just uh, make some changes over here and see uh, these are 18th May birthdays I'm just putting date uh, as as per this date and um, yeah and similarly uh, on uh, 18th May some of the associates date of joining is also falling so let me just change these dates okay so after this uh, I just change this to one because I want one email per yeah one name per email sorry so uh, let me just uh, click on this generate birthday emails and i click on this one and there is a progress bar i can see right now so i have to wait till the progress bar come finishes it is checking birthday emails now it will check for anniversary emails and i have to wait perfect so if i uh, just click on this outlook email over here then I see Aman Verma, which who is from CC department, then Deepak Singh, Aman Verma, Deepak Singh, and then there will be one more name, Neelu, whose birth is, birthday is also falling on the same day. Then there are uh, two associates who are completing uh, one year with the company, uh, Karan Tyagi and Pilu. So Karan Tyagi, thank you for completing so many years and then we have Pilu as well. Now suppose uh, you don't want uh, these emails to be uh, sent in separate. You want all the names to be uh, grouped together. So let me also do that. Before that, I'll just quickly brief you about this automation is here. When I click on this uh, birthday emails, the date automatically gets updated over here. So if I click on this, button over here it will say that emails are sent up to date so this automation can be kept on a shared drive or a place from where ev from where everyone can access this particular file so that there is no repetition of emails and emails can be sent automatically so let me just reduce a date over here because i want to send for 19th may and here i will just change date uh, change a uh, group x email to two because I want two email per two names per email. So let me just click on this button again. Now something is happening. I have to wait okay so nothing is being sent the reason being I changed this date to 19 but there are no emails for 19 so let me just come down to 18 and then click on this button over here so this is very smart automation it checks for a particular date where the email is falling and now something is happening okay so i got three emails over here so one is a birthday email for aman verma and deepak singh and you see this is not properly aligned so we'll come back to that and then other one is neelu because there were three birthday emails to be sent and so two were gr grouped together and one is sent alone then we have karante tyagi and pilu they are grouped together which is perfect Okay, so if you want to make any changes in that template, then you can open this folder and go to anniversary template. 
if you want to make changes in any receipt template template and then you can just align them up up, up or down uh, if you are adding a new template then you have to ensure the name tagging is maintained so let me come over here if you just double click over here and uh, go to selection pane you would notice that there is a name given to the every box so if you are changing anything you have to ensure that you give a right name to the box so you can and uh, you can add n number of templates over here but just uh, keep in mind that name tagging is not changed so let me close this one and come back to birthday email now so this is a this is a template that i was using but if you feel feel somewhere the gap is more or less that that you can adjust by going over here so here if i go over go and drag it down then this this uh, this will have more space over here so that you can uh, check yourself and here also a, a a strict tagging is maintained so if i just double click on this one and go to format and click on selection pane over here you will see the name tagging is being maintained as process name employee name if i go to any template over here and if i click on the names over here you will see the employee name process name this is how vba connects to these particular templates so i will come home back over here and i'll close this one okay so suppose you don't want to send anniversary email so you can just uncheck this button over here you can just uncheck it and then anniversary emails won't be sent only the birthday emails will be sent so let me just come back over here and click on this one Aman Varma and Deepak only two emails being generated no anniversary emails is being generated perfect so you can uh, try download and try this automation and ensure that you do not uh, try to break the password or crack it or sell it to someone this is only for your personal use and if you have want any changes to the automation then you can request me on fiverr and i would be glad to help you thank you for watching and for similar kind of videos you can subscribe to my channel thank you and take care bye bye